and the phone cut off on me, so... Because it's a phone that I hate so much. But luckily, I only have to pay 30 bucks for it now, so... Just, just get and listen. To myself, maybe look into a, a cheap plan. This plan's only for 250 uh, megabytes, so I mean, it's alright. So anyway, run down again. Run this down one more time. GoFundMe's not taking off. Surveys. The way that I've been making some, some something, just something. And I'll continue to keep doing so. Other things from the fam and other sources of cash from the family is coming. And, um, oh yeah, it's spring break, and there's no funny posters all around campus. Nobody's contacting me for a job interview. <laughs> Even though I put on there that I did some volunteer work for uh, one of my cousin's uh, businesses, business ventures, you know. But I'm pretty sure they saw right through that. The whole background checks and all. Which, which probably sucks in hindsight. a little bit of friction there. You know. do, I tell, do I say the truth that I've never actually worked or you know do I go with the do I go with what I've been told put that little bit of advice on there as far as I know I don't think that company even exists <laughs> anymore. It didn't even pop up on Indeed's um like list of jobs like places that people have worked so oh no who cares about that maybe I'll ask the frat brothers and sisters you know, about that speaking of that anyway um totally froze up on the spot the other day because um so I was practicing my uh, Greek alphabet on the way over. Before I got there, on the way over, and then a little bit after, and I just couldn't. And I just couldn't do it. You know, I just couldn't um, get those letters out. So, I mean, everybody, all the other pledges were like doing that. So there were six of us. Um, so they were doing. So the plan was to do four at a time. But you know, I didn't think of it really at first. Now, and by that point, I was like, wait, hey, hold up. I think we kind of have to memorize this all on our own. I don't, I don't know if this is going to really help me. Really. So, I mean, it's all cool. everywhere because it feels like it's definitely dookie or something. Ugh. Hope my phone doesn't cut off again while I'm rambling. Well, since it's pretty much spring break at this point, 
I've only got one thing left to do. As far as my glasses are concerned, I don't really want to do, but I'm going to do anyway. Which is probably about English. And the other English class that I have. Which centers around short stories, which is something that I like. The stories that have been presented to me have bored me immensely. <laughs> Even though they're by some really good authors, so like, just don't feel like reading them. And um, the other two classes have been so-so, um, as far as the online is concerned. That math class that I have, it's it's okay. It's fine. I'm not gonna complain too much about it. It's math. There's stuff that doesn't make any sense on there that's actually on there. Like, like using just literal words to do math. Like, negation and conjunction and disjunction and um, biconditional statements and whatnot. All that good stuff. All that good stuff that makes, that makes you Right in the face. So there's that. Got my bag with me, so you know, might be time to do some shady stuff. Which, after the last time, which I got caught by another Albertson, so you know. Of course, you know, I returned all that stuff. <laughs> so, you know. It was just a bunch of movies anyway, so you know, what's point that they didn't even have any value. <laughs> they didn't have any value whatsoever. So I don't see the point. At least they were kind enough to just ban me from the store. Which I would have glad I would have gladly just self banned myself in store anyway. As I've said as I think I've said. I don't know. There was a guy in there that wasn't doing his job following me around because I had the bag. Probably. It was just creepy though. It was just like, he was just like, um, so um, what are you doing? You know, stuff like that. It just came, it just came out just kind of cringy, kind of creepy with probably some gay undertones, which isn't surprising, considering it's me. <laughs> it's been happening. That kind of stuff has been happening <laughs> for a while now, with the gay undertones. It's like, no, back off. <laughs> I'm a one-woman man. War man. War man. Not man. Woman. Get your facts straight. The sunset I saw the other day was just downright adorable. It was downright pretty. Like, you could film a fight scene like that. And that's just another reminder that it takes a whole lot of time to make something beautiful, rich, powerful. I wonder how long it'll take me to publish a book.
I don't want to do that before I before I get my degree. with everybody in the media you know, out for either no reason or for sexual assault or something like that I don't know if I want to be an announcer anymore <laughs> especially with especially with um, you know that little um, coalition down there at ESPN it has been better days for them I tell you what Oh yeah, Selection Sunday's tomorrow. March Madness, baby. It's about to get lit. Real lit. And I'll tell you one thing right now. I don't know who's going to win it all. It is going to be really. I don't know who's going to win it all. It could very well come down to a few teams. Or it could be something that they totally surprise me. Push till all your favorites are still there. The Boise State of Basketball, Gonzaga, the big boys, Duke, North Carolina, Kansas. Kentucky. And, um, uh, oh yeah, what's the other one? Got already. It's certainly ain't Indiana. I mean, the Big Ten is terrible this year. And, uh, the other one. Oh, God. I forgot my blue bloods. College basketball. Oh yeah. Well, maybe not even UCLA. No. Well, it's probably going to be a one, two bid Pac-12. Maybe three or four. But who knows? We all know my horns are getting in. Best conference in the country, baby. Tech. and everybody beats each other up. Nobody goes that, goes that far during the whole Sweet 16 process. Elite 8, Final Fours, and Championships and whatnot. Nobody in the Big 12 ever goes far. It's not for a while. So I'm prepared for an unpredictable term. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the ESPN, all them cats are gonna call up their favorites right now. Pretty sure Virginia, who's been downright dominant all year long, they're probably gonna be up in there. Trey Young stuff has been essentially meaningless. Because, I mean, OU's essentially played their way out. They should be out for a better team, but. I mean, don't get me wrong, my Longhorns are not that great either. We only have 19 wins, and um, we went under 500 in confidence, like a bunch of teams. Have went under 500, like Alabama. I still keep trying to figure out who this Colin Sexton kid is, but uh, who knows? At least Duke lost last night, so that's a good plus. But it was North Carolina, so 
or uh, haven't been keeping up with anything all day. It's been, it's been a weird day. That's how sad to be soft when there's no football. <laughs> well, time to cross the street. Big boy out.